Hey, you. All right. So I wanted to create this video for the Christian woman who's really struggling on her weight loss journey. You might be at a point right now where you're trying all the things, right? To lose the weight and it's just not working. Like you're, you keep, you, you don't know how to get yourself to do what you should do. You perpetually say, okay, I'm choosing this meal plan and this is the way that I'm going to eat. And I'm not going to eat the donuts. I'm not going to eat the bagels. I'm not going to do all of these things. And then you just keep showing up as the version of yourself who can't quit quitting. The version of yourself who perpetually cheats, right? Like you can't get unstuck and out of your own way with weight loss because you keep doing the things that you know you need to stop doing. In this video, I'm going to help you to understand what it is that you need to start doing so that you can stop doing what you've been doing. I'm going to help you to, want to identify a new way through all of the difficulties. I'm going to show you the missing piece of your weight loss. This is something that nobody ever shared with me when I was stuck and I was unable to lose weight that would have stopped me in my tracks, that would have enabled me to do the things that I couldn't stop, enabled me to do the things that I needed to do so that I could stop doing what I kept doing. Does that make sense? So let me just start at the beginning. Here you are, you're however old you are right now, you've been trying to lose the weight, but you are noticing that you keep giving in to, you know, whatever you smell whatever you think about, whenever you're stressed, eating the food, whenever you're overwhelmed or frustrated, having alcohol, doing the things that you know are, that are keeping you from losing weight. You know what those things are, but you can't get yourself to stop doing them. You probably can relate to even what I'm saying. The thing I want, okay, uh, let me just think about how I want to start. You have been alive and you have been doing this life for a while now. You know where it is that you stumble in weight loss. You know what your weaknesses are. You know what your obstacles are. But what are you doing about it? Do you keep allowing yourself to, suc to succumb to the enticements? Or are you doing something about it so that you can actually overcome and be made stronger in the face of temptation? What I want you to know is that overcoming is always an option, but you have to choose that option. And it's important that you that you see that you have to choose to overcome because overcoming matters. Overcoming is how you're going to be made stronger. What you are choosing matters because you've got to consciously choose to overcome and to be uncomfortable and to do the the hard thing and to be, you know, to just do the hard thing because when you succumb, that's how you keep operating in autopilot. You have got to choose to stop succumbing to the wrong things. You've got to choose to stop the wrong cycles that keep producing your defeat. You've got to start deciding ahead of time to do the right thing. And I know that deciding ahead of time doesn't sound like a foolproof plan. I mean, it doesn't sound like a foolproof plan, but hear me out. This could change your life. I want you to think about this for a minute. I want you to think about what it means to have a foolproof plan. Because I know that when you have, I believe, I know this because I've experienced it. I coach on it on a daily basis. I know that when you decide ahead of time, ahead of time and you implement a foolproof plan, it does exactly that. It's foolproof, F-O-O-L. This is how you protect yourself from, from being fooled because we are so easily persuaded. We are so easily fooled when our flesh is unruly and we're mastered by our physical senses. Do you hear that? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? You easily become fooled by who you used to be because you've, you're so good at practicing who you used to be. You're so good at the enticements of the enemy. You will not, you simply will not succeed without having a plan for your success. Every day you need to have a foolproof 
plan. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Can you see how you need that? You've got to start deciding ahead of time what it is that you're going to do in order to be victorious so you can stop allowing the enemy to be victorious, so you can stop allowing him to be the victor of your defeat. Do you, like at any given moment, I know, I already know this answer. This is a stupid question, but do you know what you should do when you are faced with temptations? Because if you know what you should do, that's called a conviction. You know right from wrong. And if you keep following what you want to do, what you've convinced yourself is okay, who are you even following? If the Holy Spirit brings to your attention what you should or shouldn't be doing, he is actually guiding you. God's word assures us of his guidance, but you have to choose it, right? Following the Holy Spirit's leadership will lead you to success. You know that. Your convictions, I want you to see this. This is how I coach. Your convictions, what you know to be true. Your convictions will shape your beliefs. And then your beliefs influence your behavior, right? You know that donuts and bagels keep you from losing weight. So if you keep eating them because they're just, you know, in the office kitchen or they're at the church welcoming center every Sunday when you walk into church, you're not following your true convictions. You're following your flesh. And in your flesh, you will be led by things that you have previously allowed to convince you, not to convict you. There's a difference. In your flesh, you will easily be convinced of partial truths, partial truths that will cause you to reason and justify things because you'll say things, you'll think things and say things to yourself. Like you'll say things like, I'll start again on Monday or, um, you know what? I need to eat this cake or eat this donut at this work party so that I don't offend so-and-so because it's her 50th birthday or because we're celebrating my boss's big promotion, or when we come to church, I have to eat the donut at the welcoming center, at the welcoming table, because my sweet husband brought it to me and I don't want to offend him. Or you might think things, and these are things I hear all the time. I should be allowed to enjoy my favorite foods. What I want you to see is that we convince ourselves of believing lies all the time, lies that enable us to do things that we want, where we are completely mastered and led by our flesh. These are our spiritual blind spots that we don't even see how we are mastered by the physical. You can be mastered by the spiritual, but if you have blind spots that you're not seeing, you're never going to get out of this loop. You're being mastered by your flesh and it's all completely at the expense of your health. It's at the expense of the right outcome this time, right? Do you see that? Do you see that in your life? All of this could be at the expense of what is completely possible for your life. You don't even see how you are believing lies, lies that serve really just one purpose. And that purpose is to kill, steal, and destroy you. If your beliefs, if your beliefs are the thing that influence your behavior, and then your behavior is the thing that influences your, how did I say that? Your beliefs will influence your behavior and your behavior is the thing that creates your outcome. So what are you allowing to influence your beliefs? And then your beliefs to cause you to behave a certain way. And then to have that outcome, that result in your life, when you follow that belief system, that pattern of my thoughts create my beliefs and my beliefs shape my behavior, my behavior is what is getting me the outcome I have in my life. If you think that that is true and you can see that connection, can you see how it is that by believing lies, that it's affecting your behavior? causing you to do wrong things and it's stealing your health. Can you see how you don't have, in this case, you don't have a weight loss problem. You have a believing problem. You, like, what what is it that you've allowed yourself, that you have convinced yourself to believe as your truth? And what are you allowing that truth, that lie, What are you allowing that to take from you? 
you've got to start you've got to start putting down that weapon you've got to start putting down that weapon that where you have allowed yourself to be the weapon formed against yourself do you see that you have to start you have to step away from your convincing and you know before i started this i looked up the word convince i looked up the the root word of convince and the root word of convince means to conquer so the partial truths that you are believing they're conquering you and this is this is the subtlety of satan i want you to think about this you know how he did this to eve how he tried this on jesus so who's your example who are you modeling who are you being when you model Eve and you allow the subtlety of Satan's convincings to become your truth, right? Who is your example? Whose example will you follow? Will you follow Eve's example or are you going to follow Jesus's? Eve was so easily convinced of a lie despite her knowing the truth. She knew what she was supposed to do. She knew the truth. Despite her knowing the truth, she was completely and easily convinced and weakened by temptation. She was convinced and she was led into temptation. And you know what? Jesus, on the other hand, he was convicted of truth and he knew what was right and he wasn't weakened despite the temptation. He was led by his convictions. You can be too. You have to stop conforming to whatever it is that you allow to convince you and to lead you astray. Do you see that now? Are you hearing what I'm saying? The ways that you have allowed yourself to believe things that aren't entirely true. This is how it is that you have believed wrong things that have kept you behaving the wrong way, that have kept you behaving the way that you are, and perpetually having the results that you have. These are things that you know are contrary to what you should be doing. You cannot be convinced of truth if you are convinced of a lie or of partial untruth. You will not be able to be transformed without the renewing of your mind. You simply, this is something nobody ever said to me, that, but had they said this, it would have changed me completely. You don't have a weight loss problem. I want you to hear me on this. You are believing lies. And as a result, you can't and you simply will not change. But because you cannot see that what you are believing and what you are doing is wrong. And this is why, this is why I believe God has me leading women as a Christian life coach for weight loss in the seekers method. This is why I teach something so weird. I show you how to speak trust a spiritual God for things that are so overtly physical. I teach you the missing piece and that missing piece is mind renewal. I teach mind renewal in order to equip you, in order to equip women to become the woman who lost the weight. Does that make sense? Because an unrenewed mind is simply not going to change. And so that's why when you come to work with me in the seekers method, I show you what to do. I show you how to do it. I show you when to do it. I show you why. And what I want you to notice is what I didn't say. I didn't say, I show you quick and easy weight loss. And the reason I didn't say that is because nothing about weight loss is quick or easy. Nothing about dying to yourself to yourself is fun or easy, but everything about living in the truth, everything about learning how to appropriate your faith is profoundly rewarding and transformational because it's about who you're being. It's about who you're becoming. You need to become the woman who became strong enough to lose the weight and keep it off. So that's what I teach. And when you come to work with me, I show you, I introduce you to who you are in Christ and I help you to stop conforming to who you used to be in your flesh, right? I map out the mind renewal that you need to have in order to renew your mind so that you can step into transformation. I show you how to make weight loss actually happen in your life. So really essentially what I'm saying is that when you come to work with me in the seekers method, I partner with you, you and I partner so that you can 
finally become that version of yourself. Like when you finally make the decision to invest in your transformation, you do that because you come to me and I show you, I, I teach you in the seekers method, how to do the hardest part about weight loss. And the hardest part about weight loss is mind renewal. Mind renewal has been this entire time, the missing piece in your ability to lose, lose your weight. So how do you do this? How do you enable your convictions? How do you allow them to be the, become the very thing that stops you from eating of the, the forbidden fruit, right? How do you stop that? How do you stop doing that? How do you stop eating the donut, the cheesecake, the pizza on Friday nights and drinking the wine? How do you stop doing this so you can lose weight? Here's, here's how I want you to see this. I want you to realize that it is so much easier to resist temptation if you have proactively in advance of going to where you know there's going to be temptation, if you have thought through your convictions before the temptation even shows up, you know in the morning when you wake up where you're going to probably be tempted. And if not, you know what God's word says to do when temptation comes. There isn't any temptation you can't overcome if you will just go to him when it happens. So when you when you find yourself enticed, know that you have company. Know what to do when it happens. Wake up in the morning, proactively, offensively, pray for what it is that you need spiritually to strengthen you physically so that as you go throughout the day, you are equipped to do what you need to do to become victorious. And then just start back stacking victories. Day after day, be victorious after victorious. Nothing about this is fun. Nothing about this is easy. All of it, though, is profoundly rewarding because you will experience weight loss. You will reap a harvest if you don't give up in trusting of, of the weariness. So you've got to anticipate where temptation is coming, right? Do You know that, right? So where in your life does temptation come up the most? Where is it most? Where do you see temptation coming up throughout the course of your day, throughout the course of your week, throughout the course of your month, right? You know this. You've got to face this head on. You have to start getting uncomfortable in it. It's okay to be uncomfortable. The What got you here is chasing comfort. You've got to start making a decision ahead of time. You have to start deciding ahead of time to invite God into all of the difficulties and then expect him to actually be there in the fire with you where it's really hard. And you know, for that matter, I want you to think about Daniel. I want you to think about Daniel. His convictions were the very thing that caused him to decide ahead of time to not defile himself by eating the food and drinking the wine that were given to him by the king, right? You see that in Daniel 1.8. I'm not making this up. You've got to choose who you're going to be like. Be like Daniel. Choose ahead of time. His convictions stopped him. You've got to decide ahead of time. Be, be driven forward by your spiritual convictions instead of being perpetually dry, pulled backwards by your physical convictions. Be, be a decision prepper. Decide ahead of time that you're going to succeed versus accidentally succumbing. So where do you know already in your life you need to start implementing this and you need to start walking this out by faith? If you need help, it's time to get in the seeker's method. There's going to be a link somewhere where you can click on it and, and join me in the Seekers Method. I am so profoundly honored that God called me to lead women in this way. I'm honored to work with you. Whenever somebody signs up to work with me, they are my heart's desire. Their success is my heart's desire. I can't wait to show them who they are in Christ. I can't wait to show you everything that God taught me when you come to work with me in, in the Seekers Method. I love showing you 
the fullness of who you are in Christ. I love teaching you how to appropriate your faith, how to renew your mind, and how to actually step into weight loss this time. So if you know that it's time, stop waiting. Stop thinking that you have more time. Stop, stop putting your life off for tomorrow. Start learning how to become who you were always meant to be, even in weight loss.